Hello everyone, my name is Jackson Kenyatich, Order Directorate, Kibabi University. Allow me to first congratulate you for securing a vacancy at Kibabi University. Kibabi University is a nice place to be. This is the second session of e-learning training where we are going to focus on module resources. In this session, we are going to learn how to access learning resources and at the same time, how to use them efficiently and effectively. At the end of this training, there will be a quiz that uh, will require you to respond to. Uh, the quiz will be available from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. It's going to be a short quiz and therefore uh, you need to be able to uh, attempt the quiz before the end of that uh, time. Um, we need to ask ourselves what is this Moodle. Moodle is a learning management system that was chosen by Kibabi University because of its functionalities. And Moodle stands for Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment. That means uh, Moodle is object based and therefore everything is treated as an object that interacts with each other. Resources in Moodle are objects which can be used to support learning. Anything that can be used to support learning is referred to as a resource. And that's what we are going to focus on today. In other words, it's an item which a teacher or lecturer can use to support learning. Typically, these resources are files. And uh, Moodle supports various types of files, which include images, PDFs, Word documents, MP3 or MP4 files. These are audio and video files. Though it can support quite a number of other videos. Uh, sometimes you may find teachers uh, storing uh, these resources inside folders. And therefore you may have to open the folders to be able to access uh, the resource. But before we go deep into the resources, resources are found inside a course. And that takes me to another part of uh, this introduction. Moodle course. A course is a place where you can find learning resources and activities. In other words, course is like a house that contains learning resources and activities. Activities are things like uh, quiz, things like assignments, things like um, uh, things like um, discussion forums, among other things. So you cannot have a resource without a course and therefore it's important for me to introduce the concept of uh, course uh, before I move into the resources. Modern courses can differ depending on how course settings are configured. So the lecturer will choose the kind of format that the course will take. Some will choose topics. Topical formats mean that uh, the resources are organized according to the topics. Topic 1 and its resources. Topic 2 and its resources. Topic 3 and its resources. That is topical format. Then we have grid format. Grid format uh, groups the resources according to the relationship. Those resources that have the same relationship, close relationship, would be grouped together. And those that have another uh, uh, common uh, uh, res uh, uh, relationship or common behaviors are grouped together. So I'm going to expose you to both strategies. And some lecturers may blend the two approaches, the two formats, as 
we shall be able to uh, look at in this session. So you can find a range of blocks on the module course to aid online uh, learning, communication with students, and much more. So in the same course, you can have uh, blocks. And we say that blocks are medium of communication. Lect a lecturer can be able to reach to you through blocks. And you can be able to reach to the lecturer using the blocks. You can give your feedback using the blocks. You can see what is happening in the course using the blocks. You can see the recent events using the blocks. So this is a concept that will be done in subsequent sessions. But the main aim of this session is basically to introduce the concept of learning resources. In summary, what we are going to consider in this uh, video is how easy it is to access modern resources and at the same time how easy it is to use these resources. The resources that we are going to consider include Word documents, PDF files, PowerPoint, video and uh, interactive presentation as well as interactive video. On to the demonstration. As you may have been uh, shown, you need first to visit Kibabi University website that is kibo.sc.ke to be able to get to the learning uh, platform. Now this is our website and for you to be able to access e-learning portal you simply click on e-learning portal here and then you provide uh, you click on this login you click on the login then you provide your username your username and password If you don't have your username and password or if you've forgotten your username or password, simply you reach to the directorate for you to be assisted. So as, I, as you can see, I've logged in to uh, the platform. This is how my platform will look like, my account will look like. And I believe it's the same way even for yours. Now, at the top part, you will be able to access the courses. And as I said, co uh, for you to access the Moodle resources, you will need first to access the course. So, I'm going to use this introduction to Moodle evening session as an example. When I click on this, uh, these are the resources. Uh, this is my course. And uh, you can see the course has got an introduction. And that's me and a bit of what the course will, uh, uh, will, will, uh, will under. Basically, uh, most of the courses will take this approach. So once you visit, uh, you will realize that there is introduction to the course, uh, to, uh, the course here. You will find all you need to know, like course outlines, among other things. But that is not uh, the main focus of this training. So you will get the course, uh, the course description here. And the details of the lecturer would be able to give you some uh, contacts if you may want to reach them. Now, um, this is where I'm going to focus on learner resources how i what kind of resources are you going to find in a model environment now if you click on this learner resources uh you'll find something like this you'll find something like this now this lecturer organized the courses uh, the resources in topical format, in topical for, uh, in in, in uh, according to, uh, in topical format, 
as you can see we have topic one introduction and a bit of the heading and the resources this is what a document it is a resource it's a file so if you want to access this you simply click on it and it will prompt you to download it and be able to uh, view and read offline this is our document so immediately when you click on save uh, you will see it's, it will download in your browser and you can see that is it's there uh, uh, the resource is basically uh, on uh, collections in C sharp and you, you can be able to read at your own time and be able to respond uh, to uh, the uh, resource so that is how you can download the resource I've shown you how to access that and you can see it's still uh, what document is still loading what uh, process is still loading so it has loaded so you can see uh, this is my uh, file uh, these are the notes I can read about it and be able to respond to it. this is just a sample of the file you will be able to access in any platform in any uh, uh, course in Moodle so that's how you can get uh, to download a Word document the second kind of file is PDF this is PDF so again it gives PDF uh, <clears throat> can be handled directly by Moodle and therefore it will open in the Moodle I've lost the focus so I'll go to learner resources and when I click on this PDF it opens and I'm able to <clears throat> I'm able to read the notes and be able to uh, make my own notes and you are always advised that don't rely on only soft copy make your own notes that in your own uh, wordings so that you can remember as you uh, approach the exam time therefore in each re in each uh, resource that a lecturer will give you be it a word document a pdf you are advised to make your own notes don't rely on the uh, soft copy it's evident that from experience i don't know about your experience but you get to understand more if you write on uh, if you write the notes yourself so these are the notes that have been prepared by the lecturer and you will have to write on your on your on your books for you to be able to understand them uh, fully so this is basically a pdf pdfs are easy uh, though you can download i'll show you how to download a pdf so um when you access the pdf here you can you see this pattern this pattern at the where the cursor is you can click and download so if i click on that i simply save and be able to access it or you can print you can print here like if i i want to print if your computer is connected to a printer you can print and be able to uh, have hard copy of the notes back to the courses uh, the next uh, resource is presentation resource which is uh, a PowerPoint I'll be able to show you this this a PowerPoint this a PowerPoint so some lecturers may choose to make a presentation or a PowerPoint that you will be able to read slide by slide okay as you this slide uh, this presentation was talking about taxonomy and when you look at taxonomy uh, those are the major uh, people who, who are uh, the main uh, uh, the main contributors in taxonomy 
so you can see name the animal you can you it's just basically giving you a brief introduction on the taxonomy you can see they are quite great and so however if this window is too small for you you can click this expand uh, full screen uh, icon here when i click on this icon you'll be able to see that uh, i'm able to access the presentation uh, on a full screen so some lecturers may choose to give you notes or resources based on a presentation or powerpoint you'll be able to uh, access them in the same manner that i've shown you so if you want to minimize you simply click back on this uh, exit full screen and you click on that and you will return back to uh, to this so uh, basically that is presentation the second kind of resource that you may find is a video some lecturers may uh, may record themselves come up with a video and then upload for you to be able to watch there are courses which it's difficult to have a presentation alone or it's difficult to make a video like mathematics courses accounting courses some programming courses may be difficult to have a presentation alone you may need to have a, 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 a video to be able to deliver a certain concept efficiently and therefore some lecturers may choose to have the video and an example of the video is here so you simply click on this play video and the video will play by, by own own. so the video will play by its own and as you play the video you are required to have your book ready and the pen ready so that you can be writing the notes as you watch the video so again you can be able to set the video into full screen by clicking on this uh, button when you click on that it will go to the full screen and you can see that um, of plants. That is my but video. Before moving forward the topic, we look at the broad classification of living organisms as we've already done the five kingdom classic. So you can see a lecturer can record himself or herself teaching okay, a certain concept. And therefore videos are very important uh, resource in model. So you are required to watch the video keenly as you record the content as you record the concept uh, the concepts that are being uh, brought out by the lecturer you make the notes normally videos are arranged according to the topics like in this video it's basically till, uh, dealing with classification of plants classification of plants so the topic classification of plants, uh, you can see it's broken down and the lecturer will unpack the concepts uh, as he or she records. Therefore, uh, it's the same as seeing your lecturer uh, teaching you face to face. That's how video is. So if you want to escape from the video, if you want to move to the normal view, you simply click on this button here, on this down button, you click on that, and it will return back to the screen size that, uh, that, uh, that um, uh, we were before. So that is video. Now, the next resource, which is very important, and I want you to note out, is the interactive presentation interactive presentation is the same as this kind of presentation is the same of, the, of this kind of presentation that uh, i showed you powerpoint presentation but then it has some interactivity 
what is this interactivity interactivity are questions during the presentation after you move to slide to slide there are questions that you may you are required to respond to and the questions normally points to the main concept that have been covered and therefore you are required to go through the presentation carefully because it will reach a time uh, the question will pop up and then you are required to respond to just like in in a lecture room a lecturer may teach up to a given level and then pose a question for you to respond to the beauty of Moodle is that every one of you must respond to the question and the results will be uh, recorded to ensure that um, you responded uh, to, to ensure that all the students respond to the question and the mark and the marks will be recorded so i'm going to demonstrate a brief one uh, this is a presentation on introduction to c programming i am teaching c i'm teaching programming courses and those of you who are taking computer science and it you may find me uh, in one of your lectures I may be taking you one of the courses but more so I'll be dealing so much on computer science so I'm just going to assume that uh, all of you are taking computer science and the first course is introduction to C programming and this is a sample presentation that I prepared for computer science so when I click for you to access a presentation an interactive presentation or for you to notice an interactive presentation you will see something no, known as h5p h5p is a sign for interactive presentation or interactive video as I'm going to unpack at the as 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 the session uh, progresses now h5p stands for HTML fashion 5 and PHP it means the presentation was made was, or was developed using two programming languages that is HTML and PHP so that one is not even a concern but uh, I just wanted to show you how you can identify an interactive video so when you see a sign like this anywhere be ready because in that uh, resource you will be taken through some content and the questions will be asked and you will be required to respond to them and the response will be recorded and graded so i want us to move straight away to interactive presentation so click on this you click on that presentation and um, when you click on that Moodle will take you to the present this is the presentation interactive this is the interactive presentation that i was talking about it might not be exactly the same as this for all the courses but then it will be um almost similar to this so as you can see the topic is introduction to c programming by jackson gay kenya teach Department of Computer Science, Kibabi University. This is the icon that I put there. Some you may find uh, in there. So, I'm going to teach you how to navigate. So, this is slide 1 of 17. Each page in a presentation is referred to as a file. Each page in a presentation is referred to as a file. So, this slide is referred to as a slide sorry it's referred to as a slide so in this slide uh you'll realize that we have 17 slides and if you want to have a breakdown of what the slide is all about there is this um slide bar when you click on this you'll be able to see 
we have only two that have been recorded it seems that this lecturer did not put the titles for all the slides but that's not an issue now you see in the slide we have this uh, um, circle thing those circle things are places where you find the quiz so you need to note them because that is the place where you will find the quiz so I'm going to take you through the course at the presentation so when you move to slide 2 you simply click on this and move to slide 2 so you'll see learning objectives so these are the things that I expect my students to do by the end of this uh, presentation learn how to write and compile a C program learn what C libraries are understand the C variable types understand how to use if and if else statements and understand how to use the for structure okay so this is basically um, the objectives that I want my students uh, to have to achieve as me as a lecturer uh, I'm going to achieve this at the end of the presentation so the second presentation you can see I'm trying to give uh, some basics of uh, programming I'm trying to give the programming languages which exist and then here this is the first interactivity in slides 4 you can see that uh, I've read the first interactivity C is a low level programming language true or false so if you are, you are not careful you must have passed the concept here okay about a low level language and all that so this is just a sample one uh, that I'm not saying it will be necessarily this so you'll be required to respond to this question so if I say true and then I say check you'll realize that I've gotten wrong okay I've gotten wrong and I can retry if the lecturer allows maybe true and then check and then it will be okay so then I will be required to move to the next and another concept begins about C now and some slides may have a video some slides may have a video as this one you can see uh, the lecturer put in this slide a video so I can play the video as it is so this is the video teach you can hear uh, this webinar is one of the many webinars that are going to be issued by the area. so you are required to watch the video okay if the video is embedded in your presentation you watch the video and then you respond to the questions so once you are done with watching you move to the next and you can find a presentation a, a, a quiz again a response an interactivity again that you are required to respond to like here the following are high level programming languages which one is not java assembly language c python so, so you are required to choose one so this question is as a result of the video that you watched so you are being asked a question from the video that you, 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 uh, you've watched. So the response that you give here will be recorded. Like here, assembly language is a low level language. So you, when I select it, you can see. And then it takes me to another question. In the same, same uh, uh, category, which among the following correctly defines a variable? A variable is a named memory location that stores values that keep changing. So this one is correct, but let me put this one wrong. So that one is wrong. Okay, then I can proceed. So you can continue. You can see I got one out of two. So you can continue uh, with the slides as you make notes because you understand that at the end of some concept you will be asked a question and you will be required to respond to that question. Therefore, you need to be very keen 
as you go through the presentation so you can see i respond and maybe another question another type of question where you can select more than one answer select the rules of naming a variable in c so when you see this kind it means you can select more than one answer this is what we call checkbox okay checkbox so you can select more than one answer maybe those two and then you say check so you can see i got everything right because maybe our the concept uh was unpacked well and i understood and i noted that uh, down and that's why i can respond to comfortably uh, again there can be these type of questions there can be this type of question drag the words into the correct boxes so you'll be required dash is a program written in high level language so like here source code i can drag source code so that it can say source code is a program written in high level language so you can drag again if you are not sure and then put another one okay so this code is then compiled to a machine independent code called object code okay you are supposed to pick the correct words here and place in their correct places the code is then linked with library code to form a machine independent code called so when you see this one this is a sign of information so when you so, it's, uh, click on that you will see a tip running tip a uh, running program this is a tip okay so i can drag this one to the end then i can say check the solution and i got four out of four basically you will be able to interact with many many interactions and uh, you can see the summary in this uh, presentation interactive presentation i got nine out of ten okay i got nine out of ten the score is nine out of ten because four uh seven eight uh, seven eight nine and then the total is ten so i got ninety percent uh, the lecturer already has those marks with him or her and that's why it's always important that you go through the interactive presentation keenly as you respond to the questions so that's all about interactive uh, presentation that's all about interactive presentation and um, allow me to go to the last bit the last bit of these uh, resources which is interactive video interactive video and i prepared an interactive video here on loops so uh, when you click on that a video will be presented to you and again when we talk about interactive video it is a video that has some questions in between at some time in, as you watch the video there will be questions and therefore you are required to note down the uh, concepts that are being given out in the video because definitely you will be asked a question on them so like in this video uh, again I want to bring it to your attention the the um the uh marks where you will know that there is interactivity like in this down here you'll realize there is this circle that means there is interactivity there there is circle here there is interactivity and you will be required to respond to most of this interactivity so as i watch this video as a student i know that this video is all on i can move to full screen so that you are able to see so to move away from this uh, if you want to move away you simply click on this or just press escape so this video is actually basing on the concept of loops 
and as you can see the concept is being unpacked and uh, I am being taken through the concept of interactivity yeah, uh, interactivity which is uh, loops and then almost here as you can see the, co the first the concept of file loop is being uh, completed and then immediately a question pops up which I am required to respond to which of the following are iterative statements iterative statements so I'm supposed to choose more than one here because it's a checkbox so this one do while go to while loop follow okay go to is not uh, an iterative so uh, I've chosen that intentionally so that it can be wrong so when I say check you can see I got one wrong and I got the three correct because the three was correct uh, were correct but then I wronged one and therefore it was subtracted so you can if you wrong you can watch the video again you can watch the video again various types of loops and then while do the same concept will be unpacked you rewatch it again and then you respond increment the counter okay let me respond average. on the correct why answers briefly as i finish up this concept so do while loop go to uh, no not go to while loop and follow this is correct so i say check and this will be given to me continue watching the video so I click on continue watching the video and the video will continue okay the video will continue so another concept is being uh, given out here which is on do while so you can see do while so uh, the do while concept is being finished here and I'm expecting a question to pop up so you can see a question do I look executes the code and then check the condition okay which is true so if you say false uh, here th this is a wrong answer so you'll be required to watch the video again so you can see the concept of uh, um, the concept of do while will begin to unpack so this turns out again for you to rewatch again this is to enable you to be able to answer all the questions correctly so when i answer correctly true then i'll be told continue watching this is important so you can see the video continues when breaks are applied well so you can see that um the for loop uh, the video interactive video gives you a way in which you are going to have to respond uh, to respond to questions and it will help you to be able to understand the concepts being uh, given out by the lecturers uh, fully basically that is interactive video so most of the time uh, you will find these resources most of the time you'll find these resources uh, uh, on a course and uh, my, uh, I've taken you through major resources that you can find now um, these are modern resources which uh, lecturers can use to be able to teach you and to be able to facilitate learning and you will encounter some of them and even some would even use other techniques uh, to be able to uh, deliver learning so for example um, there are those which would use um, live sessions whereby you'll be required to join uh, a live session so those are the uh, things that you will cover in the next session so uh, without much ado um, so uh, the next thing that you're going to cover uh, which will be the session for tomorrow or the, the session three on e-learning training would be model assessment and communication and communication this is uh, a session that will learn how to 
uh, attempt uh, assignment and be able to uh, upload the assignment, how to attempt a quiz, and how to be able to um, uh, use uh, communication channels and at the same time attend learning uh, 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 learning uh, session, which is a live learning session. Now, um, this marks the end of the this session. Uh, you need to expect uh, a small quiz on the content that we've covered today uh, from 4 to 5 p.m. Uh, today. So, uh, I want to wish you all the best as you revise and rewatch the video again so that you respond to the quiz that will be uh, available for you uh, at the end uh, at the end of the day that is 4 to 5 p.m. Otherwise, I want to wish you all the best and again, I want to welcome you on board uh, whereby we are going to exchange our I uh, ideas and be able to expand our knowledge domain. Thank you.